I don't want to throw anybody under the bus or anything, but I'm just curious of certain behaviors that people have, like these behaviors that get them into trouble. I wonder if they recognize these behaviors. But that's not, you know, the new agey, the, a regular person would say, I wonder what you recognize the behaviors. But a new agey person would say something like, or, you know, they would say like, well, their behavior got them to where they are. They're probably comfortable with where they are. And they've been successful with their behaviors. So they'll continue to, to use them. All of us. And so, but what if you're not comfortable where you are, you know? What if you want to move on to something else? You know, you can't make the same, uh, do the same things and expect different results. It just doesn't work like that. So, I don't know. I'm just like, getting a little, I'm getting a little, um, you know, when, you know, I don't, I believe that, you know, <laughs> there's a time <laughs> where you can whine and complain, but then there's a time to, you got to really keep your action, you got to keep your shits together in times of adversity. And, um, you know, when you, it's, it's, fr it frustrates me personally, people who can't keep their, their stuff together when you need to be, see, there are times in life when you have to be strong. There are times in life where you have to suppress your desires because it's not really that important in the moment. And that's one of the keys to success. Being able to suppress your political, you know, your personal agenda to, you know, for the good of everything around you. Sometimes you have to wait. It's like, say you're driving a car and there's a train coming. Sometimes you have to stop and wait for the train to pass. Or else you're just going to run yourself into the train, which is just flat stupidness. Uh, but that's a very good analogy for what many people do on a daily basis. Daily basis. All day, every day. They run themselves right into moving trains. You have to wait for it. You're not that important. <laughs> like, you are that important. You are. You really are. But some things in life are a little bit more important. And it's about, you know, priorities. It's about, it's not really about priorities. It's about getting to the other side. And you can, you know, getting to the other side is the goal. People lose sight of the goal. Uh, but maybe getting to the other side isn't the goal for some people. Like I just said, maybe some people's goal is to be just where they are. There's nothing wrong with that. I say it in my meditations all the time. Some place, if the only thing you have to do is be exactly where you are. <laughs> you know, be who you are. Be where you are. Doing what you are. You know, <laughs> maybe that's the deal. Maybe you are exactly where, you know, maybe it's, you're fine. Maybe you don't need to change. So, but at the same time, don't expect the world to 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 cater to everything to, you know to to stupidity when are you gonna when are people gonna grow up it's not just about growing up that's my personal bias but at the same time I fall back on uh, an argument that I've made several times or a dialogue you know when I say argument people don't understand that it's a conversation when you approach it from different sides most people think an argument is a fight which is not true <laughs> so it's a dialogue when you engage from multiple angles I'm just thinking that I'm just thinking that yeah meme said there's room for growth there's room room for growth every day you know uh, growth is built into the system <laughs> it is <laughs> Uh, being stubborn is built into the system. Oh, thanks, Annie. Yeah. Excuse me. Being stubborn is built into the system. I was going to do a talk on this. I'm not going to do it now, but there's a talk. Maybe I'll do it on Monday, where people um, talk about flexibility. There's so there are uh, different philosophies. You know, like Janice just said, uh, the other person should change. All right, that's an interesting philosophy. And, um, uh, you know, some people say don't change for anyone, which is absolutely, I've never even, I've never even seen that ever happen. Like, you could think about it. If you go out drinking with your friends every Friday night, and then you meet some 
guy or some girl. You're just not going to do that anymore. You're going to go out with your guy or girl. That's change. That's changing because of someone and changing for someone. That's a fact. Like, hello, <laughs> you do not notice that? <laughs> How about there's, um, you move in together. Don't you think that's a change in your life? Hello? <laughs> like, don't you get that? Don't, don't you notice that? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. and so, or how about instead of talking to every girl you see, you're only talking to one girl, don't you, to the exclusion of a whole bunch of other girls. Uh, like, don't you guys recognize that that's a change in your life? Don't you recognize that you grow away from some of your friends? Like, how do you not know this? How do you know? Like, I, the only person I, I, I can't imagine anyone who's ever been in a relationship um, saying that you don't change in relationships. I just can't imagine that. <laughs> and so, like, I just can't imagine, you know, you, like you walk the goal, girl, AJ just started dating some girl. You don't think he's going to spend more time with his girl? You don't think that's going to change him? You think he's consciously doing it? No. <laughs> and so, you know, imagine she starts, say he starts, she takes the bus, but imagine, you know, walking your girl home from school. Like, that's a change in your pattern, man. That's a change in your routine. Don't tell me it doesn't, how do you, like, <laughs> it's very basic. It's like, you have basic, basic changes. Anyways, neither here, neither here nor there, and it's not the point I'm trying to make, and I'm not arguing any of that kind of stuff, because I do understand what you're trying to say. You're trying to say you shouldn't change more fundamental things about yourself, more stubborn things about yourself. Do you think if you mar if you meet a girl who's in look look at um Fanny. Fanny's in Japan right now. She's from Paris, she's in Japan. You don't think Fanny starts hanging out with some people, she's gonna have to speak Japanese? Like isn't that like an obvious thing? <laughs> it's like so like it's like that you don't think that's a change? And so anyways, whatever. Now, Anessa says she's going with the flow. Now, I have a comment on that. The, so, you know, in effective leadership, there are times, there are times when you got to go with the flow. And I don't mean leadership of other people. I mean leadership of your own self. There are times you got to go with the flow. You know, not everything is a fight. And there are times when the train's coming, so you gotta wait for the train to pass. You're gonna smash your ass out. Then there are times when, um, you know, it's this way is a little difficult. Do you have to do it the difficult way? Maybe not. You know, you could go around the situation. Uh, do you have to stop and fight with everybody? Sometimes, you know, maybe not. So sometimes, you know, you might want to be like the flow. You might want to be in the flow and just go around things. Don't let anything stop you and just. You know, move, or, you know, free, you know, be free and flow through everything. There's a time for that. But then there's also a time, there's also a time uh, when you have to be stubborn. You know, there's some times when instead of flowing around things, you actually have to smash right through it. There are times when, uh, you know, you can go with the flow and, you know, let the world do what it's wanted to do. You know, it's not that important. Maybe my two cents aren't really appropriate in this situation. Maybe for the moment I can hold myself back before we go on. You know, maybe what I have to say is not that important right now. Uh, maybe I should listen to what some of the other people have to say because although, you know, maybe you should listen to what some of the other people have to say, people who have been there before. <laughs> so, But sometimes... You have to speak up. You know, the T of Piglet, it's the strength of the small. Sometimes you have to speak up, even though you're less experienced or less, uh, you know, studied or less whatever than the people around you. Sometimes you have to speak up. And so, oh, thanks, Donna. That's really sweet. So sometimes, sometimes you're going to want to be with the flow. Sometimes, you got to speak up. Sometimes you got to keep your mouth shut in the moment and wait a little. Sometimes you have to let people, uh, you know, you have to remind people because it's 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 difficult. Sometimes people are going through a situation. You have to remind them something. You have to gently remind them. There's no room for a fight. If you want to fight, then I'm sure you got to fight. Some people just want to fight, right? <laughs> and so, and so. Sometimes you want to be stubborn like the mountain. And sometimes you want to, you, sh you, sh you should run things over. 
sometimes you should fight things you should sometimes it there does there it is it does call for a fight sometimes it does so it's not just about flow it's not just about going with the the you know new age stuff it's not just about narcissistic you know tendencies narcissistic behavior and looking for your narcissistic supply <laughs> you know it's not always about that and for a lot of people it is but those people really end up last <laughs> they really do and so they end up alone and they end up in really rough shape and so um, anyways that's the deal i didn't want to go on and on with this because i don't when i make these conversations i don't want to have this on the screen <laughs> so when i make those videos but that's all i want to say so yeah and he's right single point of concentration of determination hey daniela what's up so sometimes you got to be stubborn sometimes you got to fight back but not everything is a fight now in war in if you, and i've said this a million times if you live a life where the world is constantly fighting you you know then you're going to constantly fight you know even if it's a perception if you spend your entire life being abused and no one respects your boundaries you're not going to respect anyone else's boundaries you know we know ourselves in the world reflected around us so you know be cognizant of that if you see lots of if you're surrounded by successful people you'll be successful if you're surrounded by smart people you'll be smart but if you're surrounded by abusive people you will become abusive you will if you're surrounded by narcissists you will become narcissistic you will and you know if you if you're surrounded by people who are constantly fighting you will fight back you will <laughs> you will you know it's, it's how it works and so you will change so keep that all in mind okay next let's move on i'll give a big speech on that another day daniela says wait where'd you go oh you're gonna go to chicago to meet us no way Oh come on, Layla. <laughs> there are there are so few CEOs in this world compared with everyone else. <laughs> and so there are the majority of people you might have a thousand CEOs versus a million people who are narcissists. The ratio of a CEO narcissist to a regular person is like ridiculously out of control. You're using a high visibility, very small, small, <laughs> extremely small portion. That not only so small, they can literally be counted and put on a list. <laughs> versus a vast uh, millions of people in society with this situation, you can't. It's not. It's not a fair thing to say. And there's something that you have to watch out for. <laughs> Just no, 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 no. I think, um, I think there's an. I think there's a. I think there's a. Um, uh, there needs to be. There needs. There's room for clarity in what you're saying. There, <clears throat> there's a difference between being a narcissist uh, and being um, having narcissistic qualities, because some of the qualities of a narcissist are very much the same qualities of successful leaders very you know some of the qualities of a narcissist are the same qualities in highly successful motivated people but having some of the qualities does not make you a narcissist so you guys should be careful be very weary of uh, or leery I'm getting my eeries wrong of um, lumping in people that have you know some of the characters some of the characteristics of narcissists are the same characteristics of highly successful driven people you know putting themselves first having to make there's a difference between having to make a difficult decision on the good of the company or on the good of getting to the top a difficult decision uh, versus making a selfish decision and just putting someone down for the sake of putting someone down or looking for narcissistic supply it's not even close i know popular media likes to say that it's close it's not being um it's just not it's not narcissistic supply you know gaslighting uh 
those are things of a narcissist. You know, like, you know, fighting just for the sake of fighting, putting people down just for the sake of putting them down, just to see people suffer and uh, suffer so that you can feel better. None of those are qualities of highly successful people. All of them are qualities of narcissists. All of them. Those are all qualities of narcissists that are not qualities of highly successful people. Being able to, you know, being a highly successful person means you have to have the discipline to believe in yourself, to have the strength of conviction, you know, and strengths of conviction. It's like, it's like when people talk about what an alpha personality is. So many times people talk about an alpha personality as someone who yells and screams all the time. You know, you, you know, loud, you know, rah, they think the loudest guy at the bar is the alpha male. That's just not true. And it's the same kind of philosophy that you're using right now, saying, oh, this guy looks like this, so he must be that. Not true. Not true. The alpha male is not the person doing all the talking. The, not necessarily. They may be. The alpha person is the person that everyone is talking to. There's a difference. When you learn to spot these things, you'll recognize the difference between an effective leader and a highly successful driven person. You'll recognize that the signs of successful people is different than the signs of narcissism. They're sim some are similar, some are not. And uh, you will also recognize that the signs you know, of uh, an alpha person is different than the signs of um, someone who yells and screams. And it's, I've had these conversations for 20 years, like, and it's, it's frustrating, but that's the way it is. Like, that's the way it is. So people are, program and in both situations it's the visual perception uh, from an untrained eye you know like not an untrained eye that's not a nice thing to say it's a just it's a visual perception of a stereotype and the stereotype uh, you know has similarities but it's not the same and you have to watch out for that you shouldn't it's you have to watch out for that so successful people aren't necessarily being driven and focused doesn't make you uh, someone who I just ran the Chicago Marathon I think I was fairly driven and fairly focused uh, and I was quite successful I don't see that I was um, gaslighting anybody <laughs> I, I didn't see myself do what I did you know put anyone down so that I could go run my own race I didn't see myself you know uh, looking for narcissistic supply from anyone to make myself to motivate myself I didn't do any of that I just woke up and ran and from what I know of highly successful people they're the same way they just get up and do it <laughs> they just they just go do it but a narcissist doesn't a narcissist seeks out people to put down and that's the difference so from the outside they might look the same but they're not from people who are um, you know but at the same time, the same, oh, thanks, Nicole. At the same time, there are a whole bunch of people who don't understand the concept of having to make a difficult decision. Most people, you know, don't have to make decisions. Most people aren't in roles of leadership. Most people can't, you know, don't, um, you know, don't understand that sometimes you have to fire someone for the good of the team. I've fired several, many, many, many people out of my band over the years. You know, I'm not even playing music anymore. But I used to fire guys out of the band for lots of different reasons. And none of them uh, was because I wanted to hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> and uh, But they're tough decisions. When a guy loses his, you know, you got to take a guy's job away. You know, that's a tough decision you got to make. Especially if it's your friend and someone you spend some time with. But that's the deal, man. Sometimes you got to do that. So, you know, sometimes you got to make the tough decisions. Sometimes you have to fire people. At the music studio, I had to get rid of some people. You know, they weren't performing up to standards. And so, they let me down. <laughs> I had to get rid of them. That doesn't make me a narcissist. I wasn't trying. I would have preferred things to work out. You know, I'm sure most highly successful people would prefer things to work out. Because it takes a lot of time. <laughs> to, you know, and a lot of energy to go do that. And like I said, most successful people just they don't have the time and energy to waste on that kind of stuff. But 
you know, but when people see you make tough decisions, uh, who have never been in a position to make a tough decision, they don't, you know, they'll say, oh, you're being narcissistic, you know, you don't have empathy. What do you mean I don't have empathy? This this mofo just cost me like 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 five six thousand dollars here. You know I lost the uh, ten students. I lost tons of money. You know they gotta go. What do you mean lack empathy? Where's the empathy for me? You know. And so, what about this person is you know messing up on the bandstand? They're looking making me look bad. They're making the band look bad. They gotta go. You know where's the empathy in that? So. Sometimes, you know, they don't understand. They don't, they don't, they're not leaders. You know, the sunny side is not a, we're not here, I'm not here to talk about following. I'm not talking about here to be good at work. I'm talking about here to, to, to do things. And, you know, I'm talking about here to tell you about what it takes to be successful with other people, but more importantly, with yourself <laughs> and I'll give you an example of why I'm talking about this so when you're when you're oh I've totally helped them in their lives Daniela these my people who work with me go on to achieve great dreams <laughs> so like they do and so not all you know to some extent even the ones that I had to let go you know they see the way not my way they see a way but I'm not telling you this so that you can go be the leader of others. I'm telling you this so that you can take care of those voices in your own head. So that you can be a master of the voices in your own head. That's why I'm telling you this. So that when you're navigating, you know, through the avarice and profusion uh, of your own brains, you know, of your own voices in your head, you got to say, you know what, I got to kick, I got to kick that, that habit. Or you got to say, you know what, this habit's not working for me. I got to get rid of it. You know, you don't ever say to yourself, do you ever have empathy for yourself? That's being narcissistic to yourself. No, that's nonsense. You know, look, make me like, look, take, take a course in like some kind of, anyways. But that's what's going on. That's what's going on. If you want to first, you know, empower yourself, forget about the world, you know, have strength in yourself over your own demons to motivate yourself to get yourself on the right track so that you'll know when you make the right decision so that you'll know um, that you'll have confidence you'll know when to go with the flow you'll know when to fight back you'll know when to be uh, a rock and you'll know when to be like the water you'll know these things you'll know when you should get a second opinion you'll know when you should trust yourself and one of the ways to do that you know is to like use some of these you know to make the tough decisions with yourself and like I've said most of the very successful people I know they just woke up and did it <laughs> they didn't they didn't argue about themselves you know they just woke up and did it that's all they did they just went and did it even if they weren't good at it they went and got good at it and most of them weren't started off not good at it and then just got good they just woke up and did it and it's very different from a narcissist you know a narcissist suffers from low self-esteem a narcissist you know puts others down to raise their own values a narcissist constant you know a non a narcissist constantly plays stupid narcissistic games constantly you know they're trying to get that emotional reaction a narcissist will say things to you like you're not emotional or they'll say you're too emotional They'll do anything to put you stuff down. And it's not, and, and that's, you know, a narcissist will try and change you. Successful people, they just get up and do it. They make the hard decisions and they get it done. It's a big difference. <laughs> Layla is right. No announcements, straight moves. Well, they they are sad people. Danielle says they're sad people because they're hurting themselves. They are hurting themselves. That's why I said earlier, narcissists always have a problem. You know, there's a huge, huge difference, and that's the way it is. Layla says, "Can the person who suffered from the narcissistic abuse begin to behave the gaslight 
and demeaning behavior. Yeah. If you're surrounded, you have behavior to the point of low self-esteem. Say you're a high self-esteem surrounded by a narcissist. They'll break you. They can break you. It depends on who's stronger, right? Are you stronger than the narcissist or is the narcissist stronger? But a person who's if you're surrounded, if you grow up surrounded by narcissism, it's what you know. It's what you know. It's what you, you do. It's, it's who you are. And so you're going to become abusive. You're going to become a narcissist. You're going to become, that's what's going to happen. And it's going to take, you know, it's going to take whatever it takes to break the pattern for yourself. But I'll say that when you had a situation where if you're a high self-esteem person, uh, People are going to call you a narcissist. A narcissist will call a high self-esteem person a narcissist. They'll say you're arrogant. They'll say you're full of yourself. They'll say, oh, a narcissist only cares about themselves. A narcissist is, oh, they think they're the king of the world. Well, some high self-esteem, you know, self-esteem is good. <laughs> self-esteem is good. The difference is, like I said earlier, it might sound the same from the outside, but one side is low self-esteem and the other side is high self-esteem. There's a difference. So, yeah, Danielle is right. The, that's the problem. The pain is very hard to fight sometimes. That's the evil in this world. There's one more thing. If you have, if you have uh, high self-esteem, if you've developed high self-esteem over your lifetime, or, or not forget high self-esteem, you know, a good healthy self-esteem and a good personal image, it's, it's, you remember when we talked about a couple of days ago about uh, oh, there's no hard decision. Just just an example of hard decision. If you use um, one, uh, say mass as a motivational factor, there's so much uh, more mass of self doubt. You know, so say you have narcissism over here, and say you have self esteem over here, solid self esteem. To get someone with solid self esteem, there's uh, a lot could have happened to them. But in this world, I would just guess, just guessing, there is so much more negative energy. You know, even if you're in a super amazing world, am I good enough? Too many questions of self-doubt. So this mass of negative energy in most parts of the world is far outweighs the mass of self-esteem. Far outweighs it. <laughs> and so it's just by mass, the being around narcissistic behavior could easily crush someone with healthy self-esteem. But that's why we have other tools. <laughs> we have other tools to wade through a lot of this stuff. And so, she's a pop, she's very popular. She's very popular. Yeah, that psychiatrist is very popular. And, um, She's very popular. I have a personal bias that says, be careful when people are trying to sell their books. But <laughs> it's my personal bias from my personal experience. But it doesn't mean that she's not awesome. And yeah, she's a very popular one. She's make has definitely made her name lecturing on narcissistic behavior. <laughs> and so, no, I'm just saying my personal bias for right or wrong, you got to watch out when a guy trying to sell his book and you know, all girls trying to sell her book. <laughs> and so, you know, a professor at university is in the business of writing books and selling them. That's their job, you know, being popular for the school. That's their job. And so just saying, <laughs> just a grain of salt, but like the same time, so, you know, they, you know, there's a lot of information that they can bring to the table. That's quite useful in a dialogue. Okay, so that's the action, guys. So that's the action. So there are a couple of things that we talked about today. We talked about the... We didn't start off talking about this. We weren't going to shift to narcissism, we're, but uh, the question kind of came up, and we talked about a couple of things. But the first thing is, and we'll, I will definitely have a formal talk on this at another time, uh, it's, you know, sometimes you want to go with the flow. <laughs> but don't always go with the flow. That um, there are times when you should st stand firm like the mountain and be stubborn, and there are times when you know you need to chip away at things. There are times when you have to put your own agenda to the side for a second. For the uh, even if you're going through some major crisis, sometimes you got to put it to the side. And, you know, and so 
Sometimes you've got to do that. Sometimes you have to put yourself first so you're not going to get hurt. You're going to get lost in the wave of what's happening. Sometimes you have to put yourself first or you won't be hurt. Sometimes you do. Not all the time. Sometimes you very much do. You don't have to be, you know, uh, cause a fight over it. You know, you can just put it, you know, remind someone what's going on because it's a difficult situation. And that's the deal. So that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, some of the traits of narcissism uh, are disguised or some of the traits of highly successful people on the surface very much appear as similar similar traits as narcissistic behavior some of them but they're not the same they might appear the same but they're not and there are very different motives and these highly successful and driven people have a very different mindset than the narcissist uh, than the narcissist does although some of the traits might look the same they might do come to similar conclusions uh, but then again you got to do what you got to do on top of all of that uh, is akin to that the alpha male how it's perceived or what you think is an alpha male is not necessarily the same as what a true alpha male is and so that's something to keep in mind as well in addition to that um, it's not about it's not always about leading others um, you know because this is the sunny side here I know not all of you guys are bosses at work I know a lot of you guys you know don't own your own companies I know that uh, it's about, but I know all of you guys are yourself, you know, you guys, you know, whether you're raising the kids, you know, or whether you're, uh, to have strength over yourself, you know, to sometimes understand the difference, uh, so that you can just, you know, so that you can be a highly successful person without, you know, we don't always have a really strong support group. And even if you don't have a really strong support group, you still got to get up and just do it. And that's the deal. That's the deal. I hope that works with everyone. I guess we did have a little bit of a lecture speech today. But <laughs> anyways, that's the action. Let's get down to some stuff.